Hi everybody, welcome back to Life with Soul Me. I am going to show you what I have been up to. I haven't, um, today is the day I'm wearing the same clothes. I have been up to a lot, which is why I haven't put in any videos. Um, but today I've done like, this is my third video, so you will be seeing this outfit a lot. Um, so I did want to show you what I've been up to. Um, I'm going to put a... I'm in my backyard so I'm gonna go ahead and put a, um, a picture or a few pictures of what this place looked like before um, it's still working progress but at least some things are getting done which is nice uh, let me go ahead and turn the camera around so you guys can see what's going on um, this is gonna be more about my garden and how I've been prepping for you know just in case Me back up a little bit but it's kind of tall it's it's pretty tall so this bed it's the very bottom layer is gravel the second layer is wood um, and then the third layer is actual dirt and then the last layer is uh, wood chips and so what's gonna happen is at the end of this year I'm gonna put a lot more dirt on it and then more wood chips on it um, just for it to just continue having its layers that I need. Whoops. Um, so I'll show you what actually is growing. <laughs> um, and then the rest, I'm not going to show you too much because I'm going to switch it out. But I also do see that sage is coming out. I don't know if you could see that. It's really sunny. So the rosemary is growing. The sage has grown. The dill's here and it's flowered. And I'm not sure what to do with it. <laughs> Um, there's parsley and these are not growing these I I suspect are weeds if you could see that I think these are weeds I'm pretty sure they are weeds um, but I don't want to touch it yet because I'm not sure um, all of the chilies that I grew over here it didn't happen um, the strawberries already gave me some strawberries which is cool um, but I think I'm going to do more because I love strawberries. So, um, <laughs> one of the sunflowers is coming up. There's, I did a f sunflowers all along the back and only one has come up so far. Um, the radishes have also come up and I already ate one and I'll show you from where. Um, but look, uh, that's not bad. It's a pretty good growth. This is a tomato plant. Um, I hope it's a tomato plant, <laughs> but there's also radish down here, if you see that. It's kind of super sunny, guys. Sorry. Um, these are all flowers on right, oh, can I see? I'm right here. These are all flowers. These are all garlic. I think the garlic is going fine, but I'm not too sure. Like, I, I think I have to research it a little more. It's looking a little sad. Um, I have been, I had read somewhere that I, we just kind of cut off the at the ends. Um, and I'm glad I have because otherwise they would be trees by now because they were so tall already in the month that I was gone. So I've been cutting them off, trimming, trimming them off so that it gives them more, um, act, like it lets them grow like, wider instead of taller. Um, hopefully that's working. If it's not, somebody let me know if I'm doing that wrong. Um, be nice in the comments below. I am not an expert. Um, this, this I'm assuming is an apple tree, um, uh, because that's what I planted there, but it could also be wheat. I'm not sure. Um, I'm hoping that it is, um, because it looks like the other one I planted and it looks the same. So, um, this is the Korean, Korean pear and it looks pretty tall. Um, this one will be planted back there in that little space. Um, but there's another tree there that doesn't want to go away. <laughs> so I have to hire somebody to take it out. And, um, so this one will have a home over there. 
Um, this is all mixed chilies in a pot. And they're growing pretty well, which I'm excited for because I love chilies. Um, this one, and I'm saying um a lot. I just figured, I just realized that. These are raspberries, and I'm super excited because I've been eating off of that <laughs> little bush um, for a little bit already. Uh, these are a salad blend, and I realized that I actually planted a lot of radishes here. And I took one out of here because it was pretty big, and so I wanted to eat it. <laughs> And I just realized this is a radish. This is the flower of a radish. So I'm not sure what to do with it. It's so pretty. Uh, but I think, if I go in there a little bit, you can probably see the radish. Oh, I don't wanna mess with it too much, but yeah. So, and as you can see, I've been using wood chips for everything, so hopefully that's helpful. And as I'm sitting here, I see a bunch of ants over here, so I might have to water that more um i don't know guys i i want to do this and i i i've researched researched a lot so i finally got to do it but there's a lot i don't know yet <laughs> so i'm trying to make it happen i'm trying to make it work out um but i mean things are growing so that's already a plus um so i'm excited about that just to see something growing is cool look at how beautiful this raspberry um and there's some of them but it's beautiful uh, this is a blueberry bush and it's actually looking pretty nice I love the leaves everything's looking nice and green so I'm excited about it um, we're gonna move on though to something else that I have oh this is a compost bin that I've been working on and the shredded paper that I use for it these are my little starters that I haven't put anything in it because I haven't had time, but I want to start doing that now that um, the lawn has been taken care of. And this, I think it's squash. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's squash. I don't know, but it grew. And so I'm excited to see what it's going to give me. I wanted watermelon, so I'm going to try and excuse the writing. My little boy is the one that write, wrote all of these um all these labels so i think i'm gonna plant more watermelon seeds and hopefully something comes out because i absolutely love watermelon uh but we'll see but at least that's a plus something grew <laughs> so that's nice excuse the airplane i mean helicopter uh okay so this corner is actually a, still a working progress what i'm thinking is that i think it's going to be um uh, chicken run so from here so from like right here to here it's gonna be a chicken run uh, my brother does have chickens and so I need to burn or cut or something all this stuff and then um, kind of make a little chicken run there I'm only gonna have a few like very few uh, just to get started and then these were potatoes but I only see one really doing anything <laughs> in that corner uh right there so I, I don't know i was gone for a month in guatemala and so i feel like things didn't get watered as much as i would have but i mean they did water so they kept my plants alive which is nice um so these are the apple trees that i planted too so there's three and it looks just like the other one so i'm hoping that it is so i feel like um, I planted a few just to see which one would take. So if all three take, I'm not sure what to do with that. I guess I can plant them again somewhere else, but I'm not I'm not too sure. Um, oh, and then these two, those are also potatoes. Um, and these were potatoes too, but nothing happened. Um, I don't have that much soil in it because I was planning on adding soil as I saw the leaves happening. So this one, I just added soil to it yesterday. Um, but yeah i'm not sure but i'm excited anyway either here i am <laughs> so either way even if like not everything grows it's fine um i'm just excited because i'm fixing the soil i've been fixing the soil up because i figure once i actually plant these somewhere else um, i can go ahead and plant more stuff on this side and i could do like a row here of vegetables so uh, let's see so it would be like 
there. So it would just be this pathway to get in and out. And then I would do more um, veggies and anything really on this side. I know I will take you guys to the other side of it. This is also what I've been doing is I've been collecting wood. And uh, my dad had a lot of wood here, but since he had a stroke, he's not he's not able to do a lot anymore. And so what we did is that um, since most of it was already rotten or rotting or like wet, uh, what I did, <laughs> excuse that part because that was like a, I just needed to keep some of them dry. Um, so what we did is that as his therapy, what we did was cut um, we helped him cut all the wood and kind of put it up here in a nice nice pile. Um, so it's a lot better. I don't know why that fell over, but I have to fix it. So um, my dad had already, I think these are like, these are all citruses. I'm not sure what they are yet because I can't name, I can't, I'm, I'm really bad at it. I know there's lime over there. I know there's two lime over there. Um, this is a citrus something and this might be an orange. I'm not sure. But what the goal is actually is to take out all these, um, this black, this stuff right here. So the goal is to take that out and to plant, um, this is a guava tree, that one. This is a tree that we want to get rid of and put either the... Korean pear or an apple tree here but what I'm going to do is this is still a mess I'm still working on it but under all of this I'm going to do either vegetables that are okay with shade or um strawberries or something that I can something that I can just plant and I can kind of take over all the bottom too okay so um, yeah, so that's that's the plan. It's a lot. Um, I've been working on it a lot, but now that I'm not working, um, I can do a lot more now. Um, I don't have to just wait until 5:30 to do stuff. So this, I feel like, is a lot of real estate for vegetables and um, fruit and stuff. So I'm excited for all that. Um, if you guys know what vegetables I can plant under these trees that would be great let me know in the comments down below um thank you so much for watching this is the start of what I'm up to uh I'll have more videos up soon um please comment down below help me out that's a lot of pomegranates and it's a lot of them are coming out we also have some in the front yard and we also have mulberries in the front yard I'll go ahead and show those to you guys on the next one all right thank you so much have a good day bye